And good evening once again, fans. You're listening to the Death Metal Podcast. They're more than welcome to come on too anytime they want to come on. Oh man, those girls pop in like all right. It's a bunch of things. Let's see what he's up to. Thank you, man, and thank you for giving me the time. Tune in right now. And good evening, everyone. You're listening to another episode of the Deathmatch Russell Podcast. And my guest tonight is indie pro wrestler Jaden Quick. Jaden, you're on the line. How you doing? Not too bad, man. How about you? That was an old... Did you like that intro? That was an, that was the old-timer... Um, holy shit. You know who that was? Madman Pondo. I had that... Really? <laughs> yeah. As On an old episode my, on my podcast, I had one. I had him on. It was great to hear him a while back. Man, I gotta get him back oh, on. Oh, man. That guy was cool. He was cool as hell. So, how you doing? Pretty good? You surviving? Oh, let's, let's surviving. <laughs> yeah, surviving. I know. But surviving the stride, and it's, 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 it's driving us all nuts. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Like, all our sports, all our concerts, wrestling in general, it's really killing you guys. Shut down, man. It's it's insane. It, it, it's driving us fans insane, too. We can't... What are we going to do? I mean, like, <laughs> I, like watch I you know watch the pay-per-views online and just read what's going on and see what's going on. You know, catch up yeah, on... Yeah, I, I got a network, like, just for... <laughs> just now, because... Really? I'm so sick of Netflix and... Yeah. I'm so burned out from Netflix right now. Well, you know what you do? Sign up for that, uh, heck, they're doing, uh, you should watch, uh, later tonight at 10 p.m., actually, one of my local promotions, um, Game Change, um, not, Game Change is doing their thing, but, um, Hardcore Hustle organization is, uh, Matt Tremont, run by Matt Tremont, and the, uh, Oh, yeah. And we just had the Hardcore Kingdom this past Saturday, and I, I think I told you I was going to be, I don't know if I'd said I was, yeah, I was there, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah so, uh, yeah, it's up on their web at 10, 10 o'clock tonight, so yeah, I'm check, I, out. yeah, I, I, T, I, W, T, V, you know, it's got yeah. all the, all the promotions on there, it's pretty cool, same thing as, like, Netflix and, you know. Yeah, I watched a little bit of, uh, I, W, T, V when I, uh, mm-hmm. saw Bueller in the hospital. Yes, speaking of Bueller, <laughs> you had, uh, you've had, a match, a couple, you've wrestled him before. And I, yes. I know him pretty well as a local fan, and he's, oh, you know. Yeah, hell of a guy. Hell of a guy. Great guy. Personality, you know. He's just an all-around awesome dude, wrestler, you know. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, Helped me uh, a lot uh, a few years ago, actually. Yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah, I was watching that tape of you and him from the foot tech, uh, the the barefoot match. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Legos. <laughs> Good old Legos. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Yeah. I mean, you know, stepping on Legos, you're like, okay, I, uh, yeah, I've done this when I was when I was a <laughs> yeah. kid. I stepped on these micro micro cars and all this other shit, but no Legos, yeah, they oh, it's hurt. a daily thing here. <laughs> these kids leave so many small things around everywhere. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. My my nephews do that all the time. You know, <laughs> yeah, they do it all the time. They always get me. <laughs> Trip they sneak up, up on you, man. Yeah, uh, trip you with a dinosaur or a, a bug or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know, or an action figure laid around, or those little power things that they, the power game that they use, that little fucking spinning in the wheel, little. I step on so many toy wrestlers; it's not even funny. I've probably done that too. Yeah, <laughs> but they have never touched them. They always want to see my wrestlers, but I never let them touch them. Yeah, yeah. Do not touch. Very valuable. <laughs> not valuable enough to when I have the AEW figures when they come out. Oh my god. Yeah. What do you What do you think of that line, man? That's pretty sharp. I I saw that uh, not too long ago. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they really they really went into detail with those figures. Like. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely stepping it up. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm I'm not a big collector. of you know, figures and whatnot, like the perfect, you know, like the the in ring ones, these high tech ones. But yeah, that caught, yeah. they caught my eye. They're gonna <laughs> have to add that to a collection, you know. Oh, for sure. To show off to people, and be like, hey, here you go. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. No display for my shelf. <laughs> you know. So so anyway, you've you've wrestled for so many companies, e, uh, EHF Entertainment. That's yes. Cr- yes. Yes. Well, what's that like? What's that been like for you? Or, or well, now uh, working with DHS? Yes. 
Yes. When's oh. the la- when's the last? Well, when's the last time you wrestled with them? <laughs> Man, um, I think January was the last show they had. Because, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, February there was uh, uh, some family issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, after that, like this month, yeah, everything took a shit on us. I know, like what the hell, like but, karma. Uh, the last match I had with them was uh, yeah, uh, a cancer benefit in J- January, uh-huh. and I got to wrestle with uh, Jason Page, so that was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. That's cool, oh, kid. Yeah, yeah. Like I haven't had anybody from EHF in a long time. I, I was of... just listening to your uh, to Which... your podcast with uh, Solomon Stone. Okay. Yeah, he's a character. That, that, that guy's a great dude. He's he's a good wrestler. He's got a character of his own. He's like he's doing a podcast right now. I think or he threw one up or something. I said I, I want to be. Saw on. That. I just saw that. I said I want to be on. Right, <laughs> sign me up. Sign him up. Sign us up. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah. How long have you been uh, in the business now? Man, um, so I started training. Yeah. In December of two thousand nine. Okay. I had my first match in November of 2010, so mm-hmm. coming up on 10 years. <laughs> ten, 10 years of the business is pretty good, you know, you're climbing, up, but longer will be, longer after this whole hiatus, you know? Right, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I can even say it's been 10 years, <laughs> this big gap in between shows. No, this is, it's, 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 this is insane, like, what do you what do you think of that? That's ridiculous. Like, Oh, I'm going insane. Yeah, yeah. Um... I, I want to go to like uh, uh, one of the gyms in the local area uh, or right. at GLWA. Yeah. Um, and just train. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, the city Ironman's like, "Oh, we have a travel ban." I'm like, "Great! Oh, That's nice! Fantastic. Nice! That's great!" Yeah. So yeah. So it's just a matter of YouTube. Mm-hmm. Watching some of my older stuff. Right. Watching some other people's stuff. Yeah, and and not even going to the gym, right? Like, what you know, you can't even go to a gym. Or, uh, right, it's, it's nuts. Um, yeah. I'm using like just home workouts, uh, yeah. simple push-ups and sit-ups. Right. I mean, yeah, Getting you by. yeah, you could go outside and jog, but you don't really. I mean, I could. But. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but who really, you know? You <laughs> just walk around. <laughs> you know, just yeah, walk. Right, yeah. Like people, I mean, you, what? I like can walk around uh, four kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, walk around with four kids, don't go to the mall, though. Yeah, right? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Like yes. Shut down mall and just walk around. Yeah, hey, you know, people do that for entertainment. Oh, I mean, they really definitely. do that. that. Like They just walk around the mall just to go walk. <laughs> it, I used to do that so often. Like, every yeah. other weekend, we'd go to the mall and just walk. Walk, walk, or I, yeah. or I get, or I, I get out of my house and I would just walk around the whole damn town. <laughs> right. You know, but get some steps in. Yeah, well, I'm always walking with my garbage truck, you know. <laughs> For sure. Walking up hills here and there, potholes here and there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, danger. Danger, danger, danger. Man, are you? Is your job in the hiatus? Are you okay? Or <laughs> um, no, we're kind of like cut hours. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, it sucks, but it's, mm-hmm. it's keeping. Give me at least a little sane. Yeah, yeah. And plus, you have your kid. Plus, you have the kids home too. So yeah, I come home and I have to do help them through homework. Yeah, and um, it's yeah. just and ins- so much insane. It, yeah, I know. It's just like you can't. Because yeah, now they push you back school till like May first. Yeah, really. So I'm like, great. Right, now we have to get somehow get additional homework from the schools. Right. Right. Yeah, they'll fax it over. They'll fax it to you, print it out, or whatever. Yeah, God. I think that's what they're doing. A lot of these schools are Jesus doing that, Christ. and computers are virtual or something. I don't know. So, well, my yeah. my oldest has a like they sent him home with a computer, so mm-hmm. I mean it's convenient. But the, mm-hmm. the second grader's like, um, here's my paper homework. <laughs> yeah, what do I do with it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're just like logging it onto like its folder. Right yeah, it's now. like, hey, can I go out for recess, Dad? <laughs> yeah, go out in the backyard. Get going. And today started raining. We wanted to play catch because it was supposed to be a decent temperature today. Yeah, but no, yeah. had to rain. You know what? They well, I'm with. Well, they banned like I guess all the parks in my town. You know, for, they they put all you know they banned made a ban. Kids can't play in the playgrounds or Jesus. They put the fencing, you know, like the beach fencing up around it, so they can't use yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. That's good though. You know why not? Right, yeah, it's just, uh, Jesus Christ. I know, right? Like, what, it's it's totally, like, yeah. Good to take precautions, but, like, but, the fact that it has to come to that is insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But, you know, safety safety, whatever. They don't want the kids... Oh, for sure. You know, I mean, teenage kids go out in the daylight or, or whatever. They're bored after, after work or whatever. Or kids come into work, you know. They don't even have school. Yeah. Or skipping school, you know. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah, that's a good one. Hmm. Skipping school. Hey, Mom, <laughs> I'm going to skip school. No, you got to yeah. do your homework. I'm going to skip school today, bro. <laughs> I'm going to skip school, but I have to do my homework. You can't leave the house. <laughs> Get it like a, uh, like one of those fucking, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the armor. Watch, watches the, uh, the fucking, uh, the jail bracelets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Right? That's what it's coming down to. <laughs> it'll, it'll work. It would. It would. Or we get those shockers, right? <laughs> right. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, genius. Oh, Just yeah. teenagers. Yes, yes. They won't go out. <laughs> so then they won't go outside. <laughs> yeah. It'll be, and then you could like, put a shocker system on our PC. <laughs> Gaming <laughs> systems. Oh, they would go nuts. You're not playing games. You're not going outside. You're not doing not anything. Anything. <laughs> Anything now? These kids are, you know, Call of Duty is their their Call of Duty, you know. Like they cannot, <laughs> they cannot get away from it or Fortnite. <laughs> Man, my my oldest wants uh, will play Fortnite every now and then. I'm like, I don't know how to do any of this. Yeah, I'm not technical like I used to be way back in the. You know, I I gave oh, up. God. I gave, yeah, gave up on games the games back then were so much easier. They were, they were, and now it's the whole PC. You got to go through your PC and you got to buy. This and that, and like, oh, yeah, like, for, I uh, yeah, I'm playing Grand Theft Auto now, yes, and I'm like, this is the right button, right? And all of a sudden, I'm like, launching myself into the air with a bomb, mm-hmm. and it's like, I guess that was the right button, mm-hmm. yeah. And then you hear these kids, <laughs> then you hear these kids on the other end of the microphone, you're like, oops. I got cussed out by, I swear to God, an eight-year-old. Yeah. No way. Oh, my. I swear to God. I'm like, this kid, my headset wasn't in. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, I, it's on the TV. Right, like, right. Here, my kids are looking at me. I'm like, that's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do not say this. Do not repeat this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> do not. Man, it's insane. Now, if we were playing drunk, yeah, it would be different. <laughs> right? I'd have a few words, bro. Yeah, we'll have a few words to end. Listen, hear you, little shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You're lucky this podcast is not censored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I like, I, don't, I like people curse if they want to. If they don't, they don't have to, you know, so. Oh, God, it's military mouth, man. <laughs> yeah. Right, but yeah, I you know my nephew plays the Call of Duty and all those other games. They're pretty cool. I know I I don't sit there and watch. I have to. I you know what I'm going to say? Hey, teach me this one day. I should. Yeah, like I can play like for fun, but yeah. like, I'm not going to play to compete because I know I'm not good. Mm-hmm. Now, if it's a wrestling game, then we got some competition. You know, like if it was a oh yeah, you know, I, I, especially the older ones like the, yes. the PlayStation Two. I was pretty good at those, mm-hmm. and then they they changed them up like around. The late PS2 and into the PS3 and PS4. Yeah. The controls changed up a little bit. I'm like, um, mm-hmm. yes? Yeah. See, <laughs> see, I was the, you know, I grew up on the uh, Nintendo, you know, the original. Oh, yeah. The original. My Nintendo 64 still works from, yeah. like, 20 years ago. Yeah. And then I... And it's great. Then I also found, since I'm a garbage man, guess what I found? A Sega Genesis. Yes. And guess what game I found? Sonic the Hedgehog. And nice. Guess what other game was with it? WW yeah. in your house. Yes. Nice. Yes. Wow, that's a nice little find. It is. It is. I think Castlevania's in there somewhere or something. I don't know. You know, like Sega Genesis game I really liked was. Uh, yeah. I, I think it was on Genesis. Uh, Shining Force. Mm-hmm. That one was pretty dope. Or Castlevania? No, no, that Castlevania was. Castlevania was really good. Yeah, that was a cool game. That was. I enough. enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. That one, Friday Thirteenth. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Talk about that games that old or Zelda, Zelda, right? Break out Zelda. Oh my god, I'm a big fan of Legend of Zelda. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just got a, uh, I, I say just, but I think like two years ago, right? Uh, I got a an ocarina, like a plaster ocarina from uh, mm-hmm. uh, Wish.com. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, it's so fragile too. I'm like, yeah. do not touch this. Do not. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. If I ever sold that, I would never sell that that game. Though that 
in your house. No way. No. Oh, no. God, that's, it's like, a, you know, a gem, <laughs> right? Like, oh, yeah, that was a lot of fun back then. Those games were great. Sega Genesis and then, you know, just, jeez, like, all the games we played was, like, it's amazing. Like, I remember the first pro wrestling game that came out. You remember that pro wrestling game that first came out? I think it was just like the, it was it was featured on on uh, the wrestler. Remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm trying to remember which one that was. Uh, I remember the ones in the arcade. Yes, I remember the arcade wrestling game. Yes, yes, which was so hard to fucking play. Mm-hmm. I would go to the arcade. Well, since I'm at the Jersey Shore, that was always popular. You know, <laughs> right? The arcades. Um, yeah. The first wrestling game I played. Right. Might have been that, but I do remember uh, WCW versus NWO on the '64. Mm-hmm. I played I played that in No Mercy a lot. Yeah, and then I used to play the, um, the backyard Juggalo wrestling games. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> with, with with the comment, it's amazing. The commentator Kevin Gill still talks about it till this day. He's awesome. Does he really? Yes, because he was the voice behind like a lot of that. He helped that launch that. It's amazing. And Nick Mondo, of course, you know. I. It's amazing. Just, yeah, yeah, but look where he is now. He's he's helping um a lot of people in the industry in AEW, which is awesome. Yeah, that's he's, what I've seen. I've seen him uh, helping out a lot more. I've seen his name a lot more recently. Yeah, he's really <laughs> he, having quite he's, a while. He's done a lot for uh, John Moxley, you know. Right. I mean, talk about a guy, Moxley, man. You know. God, man. I, I enjoy watching him. Yeah, he's uh, one of those guys who can really switch it up anytime and just flip the switch and. Tch, a turn, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. AEW has a nice little collection of uh, guys on their roster. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, what do you think of the, what do you think of the uh, AEW kind of? So feel? I haven't seen like any full episodes. I think I've seen one, uh, mm-hmm. just because I don't get uh, uh, TV mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. Um. So like, we'll so go to a hotel and on a Wednesday night, I'm like, oh, let's watch AEW. Yeah. Um, and I watched, I think, maybe one or two uh, full episodes. Mm-hmm. But I'll watch highlights on YouTube. Yes. Um, I enjoy the product a lot. It's a really, it blows our mind. It's blow. Um, it's, 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 I can watch uh, Chris Jericho wrestle all day. Yeah. You can watch. Um, you know, in any time period. You can Sammy Guevara, any of these guys. They're just phenomenal. Oh, Sammy's fucking hilarious. He is. He, he, I, I love his uh, uh, little gimmick with Jericho. It's so good. Yeah. 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 LAX or, you know, the... The, 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 uh, the whatever the guys yeah whatever they're running by now I I enjoy them mm-hmm. um uh, it's amazing like like all those guys like I grew you know like from wrestling in Jersey all the time you know it's like oh right yeah it's like they're all local guys <laughs> and people don't realize that these guys just local kids like that kid Marco Stunt he got picked out of a game changer wrestling show GCW you know for sure in a New York show and like boy he got he got picked out of the crowd quick you know but now he's yeah and he's just a funny guy i've listened to him uh do some interviews and he's just hilarious yeah and his 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 brother's different than him though you know they they fight a lot it's great <laughs> right? they, they wrestle each other a lot it's great you know i've actually had them both on my podcast and a father <laughs> Really? Yeah, when I yeah, I was like, you know what, this is perfect timing. Get Marco on, you know, way back when it was when he was first getting into it, you know, eight, you know, after GCW. I was like, because then he got his big break, you know. Yeah. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. Like these kids just came from like something small, you know, like him because he was out, you know, Midwest and just really didn't have anywhere to wrestle, you know. Oh yeah, just just doing the gig. Doing a gig and you know just being picked out by. Cody Rhodes or you know whoever and like there you go kid it, it's awesome it's awesome to see that happen to, Could, uh, especially guys that are told they're never going to do anything yeah um, like Marco's a little dude mm-hmm. he is uh, so just like seeing him get picked out and get him uh, uh, with, opportunity you know, nice to see. with guys like with actually, you know, like Luke Perry, Luke Perry's son, uh, you know, yeah. Jack, you know, or whatever his name is, he goes by Lucha's son, uh, yeah, Jack, Jack, or Jungle Boy, <laughs> Jungle Boy, yes, Jungle Boy, you know, which is amazing, you know, I mean, like a it, hell of an athlete too, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed their little group, them and the uh, uh, the Luchasaurus. Uh, it's very fun. It is, it is, and. and <laughs> It would have happened at Russell. It would have happened at WrestleMania at Game Changer Weekend. We were supposed to have a uh, the Lucha Lucha Brothers versus. Uh, we had announced at a show the last uh, Game Sh- Changer show in Atlantic City. It was them versus uh, Young Dumb and Broke, uh, local type guys from CZW. You know, nice. Yeah, that would have been a hell of a fucking match. Just to oh see. yeah, that would have been great. 
that would have been great for us. Well, for all those shows that they were going to be doing. <laughs> Tons of shows, you know. They were doing a lot of indie shows, you know. Man, it just, you know, but we'll see My when. My wife came home with some turkey wraps. Ooh, turkey wraps. Right. Ooh. Right, she told me she's got a uh, chicken, oh, no, never mind, turkey, uh, chicken, chicken bacon ranch wraps. There you go. From oh, where? yeah, I'm going to chow down as soon as we're done. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Dig into that. Oh, from, hell yeah. From your favorite store. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, from, like, she works uh, at yeah. a nursing home. Oh, God. <laughs> So like the kitchen just makes extra stuff. Yeah. Just, so uh, shout out to over. shout out to the nursing home kitchen. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you never know it's what. Yeah. And the chef. Um, yeah. Her sons actually wrestle with me as well. Oh yeah. So it's just oh, like yeah, yeah, full circle. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's great. Oh yeah, it's awesome. It's dope. Mm -hmm. Man, so, jeez, yeah. Growing up, who were your favorites? Growing up, oh, instantly Shawn Michaels. You know what? Everybody, oh, you, everybody always says that on a podcast. You notice that also? So yeah, like I didn't get into wrestling until I was like maybe twelve. Mm -hmm. Um, I was a little bit of late bloomer. Yeah, right. <laughs> my my dad did not like wrestling. Yeah. Um, but uh, my buddies brought like some video games. I started playing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. The first thing I ever saw yeah. was uh, a little replay tape. Yeah. And it was Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty in the barbershop. You're right. And I instantly fell in love. It was great. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. But growing up, I enjoyed Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy was a fun one mm -hmm. to watch. Yeah, now look at that. Matt's, Matt's back in the AEW now. <laughs> yeah. 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 The delete is back. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't care for that. But it'll bring a little whatever to the table, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like... Growing up, I loved him, but now I'm, as an adult, I'm like, oh, Jeff Hardy, okay. He's got, a, <laughs> I know, he's got a family. I thought he was going to be retired or something. Like, he's got the kid, he's got the like, look, kids. I thought so. I know. I mean, it, it's uh, it's unfortunate we see somebody grew up watching, and they're like, they struggle so much uh, with mm -hmm. their personal life, I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah. So, I mean, like, oh, there... that's how he is. Okay. Okay, then he's out of character. Even my decline of him started with uh, him and Sting at uh, Victory Road or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that whole shit fest. So I was like, oh, this is Jeff Hardy. Okay. Right. Right. Jeff Hardy, man. Shoot. I remember seeing, actually I saw them, jeez, holy shit, long time. <laughs> it was, a, <laughs> I think it was a, holy shit, Jersey All Pro show or a T TNA house show they were at in Rawway Rec Center. Holy shit. <laughs> I remember seeing them. That's not probably the last time I saw them. Or Matt Hardy right. was at a, at a little shitty promotion that I was watching at the time too. You know. Yeah, the closest I got to yeah. seeing them would actually probably just when we almost saw Lita. Mm -hmm. We went to our first Comic Con and uh, mm -hmm. we're trying to find where Lita is because my girl's a big fan of hers. Right. Um, and then growing up, I'm like, that's fucking Lita. Yeah. Um. Uh, so we're trying to find her. As we got to the table, mm -hmm. uh, whoever's running it's like, oh, yeah, she left like five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to be kidding me. Right. Um, but then at, at the table, we saw someone who wasn't announced. It was Jack Swagger, mm. um, who was like right after his uh, release from WWE. Yeah. Um, gave us a bunch of free stuff, actually. Free picture, free autograph. Right. Um, be just because I was in the Army. So yeah. I was like, man, this guy's fucking dope. He is. Yeah, they they took you up if you <laughs> say, I mean, right? they, you know. But yeah, Jack Swagger, man. There's a dude that's <laughs> got, got a. Oh, he was super cool. Yeah, he and now Just look at him. Time to now, chat. Now, now look at him. Now he's on AEW now. Right. Gives yeah. Him, gives him time to uh, be singles, though. You know, and it is true that like, we saw that there. You know, they wanted. Oh to, yeah, and I like how they the they use him right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Didn't do anything up until uh, mm -hmm. the Dustin gimmick, mm -hmm. uh, and him and Dustin tore it down. It's great. Yeah, it's 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 a perfect fit for him. Did you see who they just signed? Oof, Brody. Uh, Lee. Are you talking about Lance or Brody? Brody. Brody. Yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. That was like a holy holy shit. But you know what? Sammy Guevara had had pictures already <laughs> posted of him. Did he really? <laughs> before that, you know, with Brody oh, Lee. Oh, man. Damn it, Sammy. Yeah, damn it, Sammy. <laughs> Don't do that, you, you know? But, uh... <laughs> but still, I mean, that's pretty cool though, to see. Yeah. I mean, to think of it, like, that guy, Brody Lee, really 
did he get a big, well, he did get a push, but not that big, you know, when he was in WWE, you know? Oh, yeah, like, the biggest he got was uh, the, the run with the IC title, mm -hmm. and I think that was when they were, like, kind of tossing it around between guys. Yeah. Um, but, man, he, he did what he had to do there, and, mm -hmm. like, ran with it. You know what? Um, I'll tell you what. The guy is age too. He's doing pretty fucking I'll good. I'll tell you what, man. I got to see him wrestle with Necro Butcher. You know, as oh, the when they were like the like the outlaws or whatever they were called at the time. You know, like just yeah. brawlers, like real brawlers. Like you know, they would go fist fight, fist fight, throw chairs in the ring. You know, they're slaying wrestlers on the chairs. You know, as oh, that would have been great to see. Yeah, I probably could take some footage up. Let me see Brian, I'm pretty sure I can find it around somewhere. Yeah, it's on jerseyallpro.com. Or the way nice. Google. Or Google it, you'll find it. I'll find you right. I'll find you some stuff. Good I'll, shit. I'll find some stuff. But yeah, just just to see these guys, like it's like that guy is awesome. Like shit. Like he made a choice for himself though, but you know. Oh go, for sure. Go go with it, you know, and just be your character. But the character really you, you can see it in his eyes, you know. Like, he really... He's having more... I think he's going to have more fun here. Yeah. Uh, where he's at now than he... I mean, I figure he probably enjoyed the Wyatt family gimmick a lot. Mm-hmm. Because like, it kind of fits his, like, you know, his personality with what he's been doing, even with the indies. Right. But, um... Like, I'm pretty sure it's just, like, kind of second, uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, second muscle memory to him. Yeah. To act like in this character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you saw the light, though. That gave you, like, a... Mm. You know, all oh, right. When they showed that video, I was like, "Oh shit, there's that light again." No, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, he's got different ways. And look who it is! Is he came out to the ring with Jake the Snake Roberts? Like man, like right? Or or, or was that Lance? I don't. I oh don't, no, 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 I think that was Lance Archer. Yeah, that was Lance. Lance Hoyt. Which I, I like that too. I'm yeah. a big fan of Lance. Mm -hmm. I like uh, I like that he's being managed by Jake. Almost like the under his wing. Kind wasn't of wasn't Lance with with like in TNA with um Jimmy Rave? Like, yeah, yeah, they ran they, uh, with the a guitar rock and roll gimmick. Yes, yes. And so, then uh, and then New Japan. I liked his work in New Japan, tagging with uh, Davy Boy. Mm -hmm. Davy Boy. Oof. Yes, Harry. Yeah, the Smith <laughs> man. There's a guy. Yeah, there's a wrestler that's really made a name for himself. You know. Yeah, there's a guy. <laughs> he is. I mean, still a heart, you know? Come on. Like, oh, for sure. Bold, you know, true. <laughs> true. Same can be said with Teddy. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. What do you think of that deal, huh? He, Teddy's Man, heart? I've only heard bits and pieces of the story. Yeah. But, like... I mean, there's enough shady shit in wrestling, man. It's, yeah, I I know, I know, like, I know a lot of stuff. <laughs> if, right? If you did it, yeah, yikes. Yeah. Well, if you didn't, no. I mean, more power to you. Hopefully, your name gets cleared, bro. But shout out to Teddy. Come on, stay clean. Get out there. Right, stay clean. Damn stay it. clean and wrestle. <laughs> I, I enjoyed watching his subs from the early two yeah. thousands. Yeah, it's it like growing up. I liked watching the the uh, crazy shit. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Society X? Wrestling X, yes, yeah, that's how that's how I like got hooked on to like Teddy Hart and or not really, but like a lot of the other guys, you know. Right. You're like, damn, this guy's made it. Here's Nate Webb. <laughs> Nate Webb. They're still doing it. Spider Nate Webb. There's another guy. He's still doing it. You know. <laughs> yeah. he, I mean, he was a part of that too. You know. <laughs> but hell, shit, Vampiro. Like, holy shit, right? Like, talk about a guy. You know. Wait, who? Vampiro, remember when? Oh Vampiro, yeah, when he was a part of that, <laughs> right? Now I see him doing a Facebook Live every day, just talking, <laughs> talking and shit. I don't know. It's great. It's great to see it now. Yeah, yeah. The, the how how everything. I like, think he went through de detox or something because he was like talking about his life and stuff. He's been talking. Did he? Yeah. I, I, I never knew that. I'll share. I'll share the next video when it comes out. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it talks a lot. I mean, I remember. Well, also, wasn't he commentator at um, what was it Lucha Underground, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yes, so, yes, right? yeah, yeah. He was with Matt Striker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think back. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've. That was a cool. Pro that was a cool pro promotion. I liked it. it I liked was, uh, the the uniqueness of it. Yeah. And then they stepped it up with the glass with AR Flox. It was insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They had to bring like the act, you know, the insane. Insaneness of the uh, madness of like you know the ultra violence. They had to split it up to have somehow you know. Right for sure. I mean now it's death match wrestling. I'm sure you'll notice and like it's big. It's big again. It caught back. Oh, I'm so happy that's being it's big again. 
it really, yeah, to see it back into the, it's an art, and you know. Oh, yeah. And I have so many people, um, <clears throat> like, I'll post something yeah. uh, deathmatch related, and I get totally mixed reviews on it on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, cause it's, it's not everyone's cup of tea. No, it is not. And if you go to a first show and you see it live in person, you're like, holy shit. You're either going to love it and come back for more, or you're going to throw up and like, yes, do one of those, <laughs> be terrified. Do you terrified or do one of those, uh, reviews on YouTube, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, those people. Those, yeah. <laughs> um, and I get like some of that stuff is a little, maybe much for me, but I'll, I'll watch it all day. I'll watch the hell out of Deathmatch. Yeah. yeah. Um, and like, like cause there's some people that just like, I mean, that's why, it. <laughs> I mean, that's why, that's why Adam loved that shit, man. He just loved the crowd. He loved, you know, oh, getting, yeah. the scars. He's still good at it. The scars and told stories that, you know, his scars told stories and shit. I mean, I remember going to VF, VOW show in West Virginia one time when he was there. And my buddy actually peeled the piece of barbed wire right off his back. So good. Ugh, yeah. Real flesh, you know? <laughs> Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so gnarly to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all my friends are, jeez, I could tell stories about wrestlers. It's like, you know, you don't know what happens, you know? Like, oh, definitely. <laughs> I mean, they have, the, well, I'm sure you've seen that that one guy, G-Raver. He, they, yeah. they, he's in the news everywhere. Shout out to that guy. He's doing, he's Man, I, slowly I, recovering. He's still getting there. He's almost yep. there. But, uh, yeah. I haven't heard uh, any updates in a while. No, nah, no, nah, he's doing it right, though. He's still... Good, good shit. You know, getting, doing his tattooing. He's still t- tattoo, so, you know. Oh, is he? Yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a dude that never got, you know, made him that moment, you know, and then Jim, uh, Jim Cornette and <laughs> lit up the yeah, internet. Jim, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy Cornette. Yeah. Yeah, he does... That, that's the prime example of people that just... Cursed deathmatch wrestling. Mm-hmm. Like they do not like it. No, even Joey. And, and Jim Cornette's gotta be the biggest. <laughs> yeah, Jim Cornette and Joey Janela always go at it. It's great. Oh, I love Joey. I <laughs> fucking love that guy. I always tell people, you know, on my podcast every time when I, you know, as a kid, you know, like when I was sixteen, he was still, you know, he would like I'd go to shitty promotions, he would be there, right? You know, he'd be at the local show, just setting up the ring. Giving tickets away, you know? Man. And now he's <laughs> full circle, man, making that money. Right? He's fun to watch. He's a fun, he's he, a real fun one. He's a great character. <laughs> like I said, he was doing commentary by himself today. <laughs> <laughs> man, I, I gotta see that. Did, did you see that? What did you think of that clip? That was amazing. Uh, it was it was coming in pretty, pretty glitchy, but some yeah. parts of my house aren't the best. Right, right. <laughs> so I'll, I'll give it a watch when we're off. Yeah, it was pretty... Uh, Pretty Shane Mercer, uh, man. Oh, was it a Shane video? Yeah, Shane Mercer. Man, Shane's great. He's a beast. I know. He's like an unseen talent that needs to get somewhere eventually. Man, watching him wrestle with Adam uh, Bueller was great. Mm. Adam Bueller. <laughs> so yeah. opposite people. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, Shane just really just tossed Adam around. It was great to watch. Would that be like one of your guys you would like to wrestle? Oh, I would love to. Um, yeah. Uh, it would definitely be, like, a, a nice test for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I really went out of my comfort zone wrestling with Jason Page mm-hmm. uh, in January. Yeah. Because uh, his wrestling style was really, really different than mine. Mm-hmm. Um, I was brought up, uh, trained, pretty uh, basic. Yeah. Uh, keep keep things simple. Um, and I can keep up with, you know, uh, uh, fast spots and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But, um, but Jason does a lot more of them. Mm-hmm. So it was a nice little test, and we did pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so J- Shane would be another one that's um, a unique test mm-hmm. to to see if I can keep up. Yeah, oh. I would love to do that. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, you know what? I just got a text from somebody. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damien Saint wanted to. God say- damn it! <laughs> Damien Saint wanted to say, and I quote: "AJ canceled the show." I couldn't fire him God. after your fa- you fail. Another, God damn it, Damien! Another aspect of the uh, life of your life with GLWA. <laughs> yep, quite quite fun uh, yeah. story there. Adam, uh, I have not been able to shake Damien Saint for the last yeah 
God, five years maybe. Right. No, probably not that long. Maybe three years. Yeah. Feels like five. That guy's been a thorn in my side everywhere we go. Really? Yeah. Oh God. D- Damien, everywhere. I'll tell you what. I met Damien. Me and him hooked up at a GCW Chicago show one time. It was fun. You know. Yeah. I I made my journey out there for Freelance Underground to the GCW. Oh, worth it. Yeah, it was fun. It was at the brewery, the ba ba ba. Oh yeah, the brewery before it closed down. That fucking huge ass brewery, man. That was sucked though, you know. I was like, <laughs> but yeah, he's a character, man. He's, he's definitely something. He, he's, he's very unique to the business. Yes, yes, he is. For being as uh, uh, rough around the edges, right. not, uh, I don't want to say that. Um, as new as he is, green as he is to the mm-hmm. business. Because he's still fairly new. Mm-hmm. Um, caught on really well to managing. Yeah. I'll give him that. I'll give him that much. <laughs> yeah. He, he's definitely got a, a, a niche for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's... Uh... Yeah, I'm looking forward to when that show gets rescheduled. Mm-hmm. Be nice. Uh, and I'll be... Actually, I think it's like the first actual match I'll bit I will have been in mm-hmm. with Solomon Stone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Solomon's yeah, Solomon. <laughs> he's a character, man. He's great, man. I and that's another one that's still fairly, mm-hmm. fairly new to the business. That's catching on really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like his new Gold Rush gimmick. Yes, the Gold Rush and the promos are really. He has a down pack with the. He likes doing those live the video backgrounds. It's great. <laughs> Yes, I, I like I like his uh, Apache Assassin gimmick he did. Mm-hmm. Um, it was unique to it. Like I know how uh, he's, but I, I, but I like the Gold Rush gimmick a lot more. I know how you could do that. So you gotta use the app TikTok. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what it is. That's what the cool kids are doing. That is man. The, Man. Oh man. Got his secret. You got his secret. You got everybody's secret. Even Marco. <laughs> even Marco's secret. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Janelle too. Me. Marco's still a, a child. Yes, <laughs> he doesn't open up his Snapchat as much as he used to. <laughs> <laughs> nah, TikTok, TikTok. I've been making some of those. It's a crazy little, little fun thing to do. Maybe you might ought to try it at a show or something. I'm going you know? to have to have my daughter, you know, teenage sister, teach me how to use yes, this. Yes, I can teach you too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a five minute step and. In- goes right away you're <laughs> my sister loves those things yeah you can make yourself behind a background yeah it's awesome <laughs> that's dope it is it is <laughs> it's like video editing you got the fast really quick <laughs> this is the future of it, wrestling promos <laughs> it really is it, it is it, even workout videos too <laughs> man I'm, I'm falling behind <laughs> i think it's time for Jaden quick to uh get tiktoked <laughs> Right? Yeah, yeah, I am not tech savvy, so I'm, yeah. I'm way behind the times. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, wait a minute, just Facebook, not TikTok, yeah. not Twitter. Oh, yeah, let me log on to my MySpace account. Um, yeah, hold on, <laughs> <laughs> AOL, yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah. God, I my I, like I I am messenger from AOL. <laughs> I am I A I M A I M or whatever yeah. the fuck it was. I used to have. I remember when it first came out, man. Then I used to be members with the local group in Jersey and we actually we beat up at a local bar pizzeria you know <laughs> it was so cool like hey man yeah that, that was always fun talking to people on there yeah and then using the I hammer. had like a, a little PTSD episode mm-hmm. my kid was uh, for his music project mm-hmm. um, on the computer he's got mm-hmm. um, they're, they're encouraged to write their own uh, design their own music like yeah. notes and whatnot. right like, okay, cool. So he's messing with some sound effects, and one of them was the dial tone mm-hmm. for uh, logging onto the computer. Yeah. To dial up. Right. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. Turn it off. Yeah, yeah. Because you're checking, <laughs> you're checking, oh man, is that my message going off? Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Let me pull the computer out of the shed. No? Nope? Yeah. Good. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> it's down in the basement, still, still dinging. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, AOL. They remember those little golden hammers. <laughs> <laughs> Your friends would. I remember changing the uh, the voice for uh, yeah. the You've Got Mail. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, yeah. That. Yeah. You, Arnold Schwarzenegger would always remind me when I had mail. Yeah. <laughs> I always had like a wrestler or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> you got mail, motherfucker. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh man, times have changed with that shit, though. You know. Oh, it's insane. Yeah, I'm super basic. Facebook. <laughs> like Facebook and uh, yeah, I have a YouTube account. I'm trying to put like Grand Theft Auto videos on. Mm-hmm. 
I'm trying to get some wrestling videos. I just need a. I'm investing in a uh, mm-hmm. a better camera with oh. more space. Oh, cool. My phone's shit. <laughs> yeah, iPhones don't do the greatest job, but they do. Yeah. Oh god, no. But I got a laptop, so I'm like, oh, just use the video camera. Mm-hmm. Cool. Upload it. Done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I was just looking at my old Sony camera. <laughs> like, I don't even use it. <laughs> I just saw some of the old shit I had for my Sony camera yeah. way back when. Yeah. I mean, I dug out wrestling videos, so I was like, shit, I recorded <laughs> stuff, and I don't even remember it. <laughs> Man. You know, cage match. I, I, cage, times. I think I actually found, actually, no, I just, I found one with the cage match with Balls Mahoney. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. It's because oh, there's a guy, yeah, good old Balls, man. I've gotten to meet him one time, and that, that was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, just a small little exchange, but like. Yeah. Came off super great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, on my, pod- great, on my podcast, as I always tell everybody, you know, 18 years old, I worked in the dollar store, and this guy came in, I don't know who he was, you know, I'm stocking the shelf, and this guy comes in, and somebody says, that's an EC- that's ECW wrestler. I'm like, what? You know? I didn't know what ECW <laughs> really was, you know, until I fell in love with the ECW after Balls came in and signed a piece of paper for me, you know? <laughs> It was insane. We became good. That's dope. It is. And then we became good friends. And then him and I became good friends with the Candido family, really. Uh, the, oh, the, yeah. The brothers. The brothers, yeah. I still talk to the brother to this day, so. Yeah? Mm-hmm. His younger yeah, brother. I've gotten to meet a few guys that were really pretty cool. I haven't met so many guys that were actually but, assholes. But, you know what's really, really cool? Guess who? I'm my coworker. His daughter is dating Scott Bigelow. Uh, Bam. Oh, Bam Bam song? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that something? Like, it's wow. like, yeah, small world, right? Yeah, that's, super, well, yeah, because, uh, yeah, he's a yeah, big, he's, yeah. uh, out that way, wasn't he? Yeah, Jersey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Barnegat, Barnegat or someplace, I don't know, Jersey, somewhere. Asbury. Yeah, somewhere out there, <laughs> somewhere on the East Coast. Yes, yeah, small world, huh? Really cool. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, he was showing me pictures and stuff, he showed me pictures, I have to dig that out, he showed me, the, the, he has, still has his dad's vest. He has his... Really? Uh, yeah. He still has... That'd be a, really cool to keep. He has the banner hanging up still. ECW. It's amazing. Nice. You know. The uncle took a lot of this stuff, though. I was like, damn, you shouldn't... I, I, you should, I wouldn't have done that. Right. All, I'm keeping all of this shit. Keep the boots. Keep the, you know... <laughs> shit. Keep the figures, you know. <laughs> oh, for sure. Posters and whatnot. Jeez. All the good shit. Yeah. I mean, that's cool, though. I have a connection. I get a friend at work. Hey, give me tickets, though. You know what I mean? I should do that. <laughs> I bet she could, you know? But not oh, right sure. now. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. Maybe next WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, maybe next one. Maybe he'll get oh, inducted. Yeah. Maybe he'll get inducted then. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. His oh, father. God. His, his father. He, I forgot. He still hasn't been inducted, has he? What's that? Yeah. He still hasn't been inducted, has he? No, he hasn't. I know. Wow. Right? I figure, like, New York or the New Jersey one, like, they did that a couple years, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. That, those have been perfect times to induct them. Mm-hmm. Him and... Wow. Yeah, him and uh, who else? Jeez. Yeah, so many other guys. So many people need it done. Mm-hmm. Davey Boy. It, uh, Davey, WWE's got a lot of Davey backup. Bo- finally, back trading. Davey, Davey Boy Smith Jr., you know? I mean, Davey Boy Smith. Long you know, overdue. Long overdue. Savage is still on the list. I'm waiting you realize that? He's still not inducted. It's like insane. Savage is it? No. I thought he was. No. He never got inducted. I thought I thought I remembered uh, Lanny Poffo, uh, his brother, inducting him. Maybe he. Oh, yeah. He, maybe he did. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I, think that, I think I remember that one being like a. Uh, yeah. Another. Oh, it's about time kind mm-hmm. of scenario. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My friend. I was, always, say, I was about to show myself. <laughs> yeah. One of my friends does. Does uh he calls himself Russell Popcats and he actually had him on his podcast. Lanny. Really? Oh, that's ooh, that'd be kind of fun if I could get mm. get Lanny. Oh, get Lenny on. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh man, the, the <laughs> stories. It's a genius. The stories I could talk about. Jeez. Oh, for sure. I'm sure he's got tons. Tons of stories about his bro. You know, his brother. Right. Mm. Yeah, it'd just be fun just to listen to him talk. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what was I? Who was my last? Dub, I had who do I have on my podcast? Um, it was a real fun one. I had Duke Duke the Dumpster Drossy on. That was really, really? Cool. yeah. That was fun to talk with him. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Yeah, and then I had I remember had. Do you remember the Highlanders? 
Yeah. Oh, Rory yeah, and... Yes. Rory. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those guys, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're getting back together again. It was awesome, you know? Really? Yeah, I gotta get back to touch oh, with them. I enjoyed them. that. Like, I, that was just a, another fun gimmick. Yeah, yeah. People didn't know, really. Realize these gimmicks were cool. Oh, then, yeah. You know? Gimmicks are fun. Yeah. I, I enjoy, like, a nice little uh, put-together gimmick. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a guy who uh, uh, works out this way, uh, Diesel Troxy. Mm -hmm. um, he has, like, a nice little handful of gimmicks he would always uh, use. Mm -hmm. um, a very gimmicky guy, but it would be so much fun. Yeah. And, uh... Uh, like, yeah, we're out in the Notre Dame area, mm -hmm. so you had a, a mask gimmick called Fighting Irish. Mm -hmm. It was great. Like, yeah. it was this nice little cheap pop, whatever, mm -hmm. um, and he had, like, a nice little rock and roll gimmick. It was all fun. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Sweet. That's cool. Yeah, gimmicks are always the best, though, you know. Oh, yeah, I enjoy them. I mean, hell, you be whatever you want to be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? Wrestling's fun. It, it really is. I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm sure you had that phase in your career, you know, where you did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'd flip it. Flip, like, I, I yeah. haven't done too many, like, fun things like that. No, but you would, yeah. Um, but I've, like, I've had fun, like, doing some fun, goofy shit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, re done some, like, more hardcore stuff, like, yes. the, the Legos. Yes. was just, like, a little stepping stone. Mm -hmm. Kind of did my own thing with EHF. Yes. Like, for Division, that was fun. That, yeah, they um, really, I was a, I'm pr glad you guys got the Division like that. That's what they did. I'm so happy. I, yeah. I got the honor of being the, their first hardcore champion, mm -hmm. um, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and held it guys all last year. Guys packed the, the house. I'll tell you, got that building, man, wherever you guys go, that auditorium is big. Oh. Like, Oh, it is a yeah. nice little yeah. place to go. I would love to go. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> I always say I'm going to stop in all these wrestling. I got because, yeah, they're on my tag, you know. They're on my, right? on my banner. I need to go, you know. Places. EHF has a nice, uh, nice feel to it. Yeah. EHF and uh, uh, GLWA have a nice little uh, crowd interaction. Mm -hmm. Two of my favorite crowds to wrestle in front of uh, yeah. consistently. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to some places like a... Uh, 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 down in Missouri. Yeah. Uh, those, man, those people can be mean. Some people, oh yeah, you go to sign up, some areas you're like, um, these people are assholes. <laughs> Missouri and, uh, Puerto Rico. Yeah. Oh, wow. Puerto Rico is, if you're from the, uh, uh, continental states, like the, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, not in the, not an island, mm -hmm. they don't like you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, it's just like, initially they're like, oh, this guy is, Evil, mean dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're mean to you. <laughs> yeah, or if you go deep south, I got stuff thrown at me. Oh, oh God! I'll tell That's you. Great. I'll tell you a story. Brad Cash. There's a guy. Another guy. Brad Cash uh, went was telling me a podcast story where he uh, went. He went to a little shindy, shindy uh, show, and uh, they, he was hated. And the people would, oh, yeah. would have pitchforks they would carry <laughs> pitchforks to the ring like nazis and like like the kkk and that's how you know it's like oh i love this <laughs> yeah yeah i love this place i'm not coming back okay you know yeah no no like missouri this guy got mad because uh mm -hmm. i wiped my sweat and i kind of threw it at his feet yeah um him and his mom i guess uh mm -hmm. his mom had no teeth mm -hmm. it was perfect yes for a great heel to work with them yeah. Right. Um, on his way out, punched a, um, a hole, in, like, through the window mm -hmm. of the bar that we were in. Yeah. Um, and just waited for me to come out of the locker room. Oh, jeez. Um, so me and my partner had to wait in the locker room until, yeah. like, security was like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, cops coming? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just chill. <laughs> what a chill to this guy leaves the facility. <laughs> <laughs> right? Somebody yeah. brought moonshine, so we just kind of chilled in the back. That's it. That's great. That's it. Cracked it open. <laughs> had, a, had a wild night. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. Yeah, I love wrestling. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> you, yeah, you loved. I'm. I said, heck, you know. Of course, heckling is the best. You know. Oh, it's great. it's great. Like you get into it with the grandmas, <laughs> the grandpas. <laughs> oh yeah, because they they're the like I know. meanest. Yeah, they'll uh, take the most offense. They'll take the figure out, <laughs> stick the figure up in the <laughs> air, and. <laughs> Then boy, and granted, I'm usually like you know portrayed as the yeah the, the nice guy yeah, but I love seeing a good I love seeing good heel work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it, it's probably my favorite part of the show. 
Yeah, because you have to. Yeah, you have to take the heat, and you know, it's of course. It's oh funny. yeah, it's, it's so good. There's no, there's no uh, cheers unless they have someone to boo. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I mean, hell, I used to be like one of those guys who would hate every wrestler. You know, you always get your face into like. Put it this way, put it this way. I, I still to this day, I have a, a picture of MJF. Um, oh my god, I love that guy. Um. CZW when they had a show, it, him and actually Joey, uh, no Maria Manic. <laughs> oh wow! Um, uh, and you know, toilet paper was a big thing for CZW <laughs> for years and years and years. Then he got yeah, er, and so anyway, I threw a roll right at his face, man. I got him square <laughs> in the face, and uh, weeks later, you know, let it die down, die down. Jump on my Twitter account. Guess what? I called him out and <laughs> I said, I need to wipe my ass <laughs> in your parents' <laughs> house, in your parents' house. And then he blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's always a, a successful thing right there. Yeah, but... Uh, but There's this uh, greener guy coming up. Um, mm -hmm. I'm fairly green. He's He's been pretty well. Um, uh, named Eli Shelton. Mm -hmm. And he, oh, he, I did watch some of his heel work and it's so... Uh, uh, Reminds me so similar to I won't I don't want to say similar yeah it just reminds me of uh, MJF mm -hmm. like a younger version like, oh Eli guy, wait a minute that guy <laughs> Eli can't uh, yeah he's from that freelance isn't he I believe uh, Eli oh, I, could be the same I'm guy not sure does he have he, pig, he might have been there before he pig pants he wears pink or does no he, no okay maybe this is somebody else no yeah maybe somebody else all right uh, he's still fairly green yeah um, right now training with Jason Page underneath uh, mm -hmm. uh, Trey Miguel okay. Oh, Trey Miguel. Um, Ooh, there's... Man, there's... Yeah, a, yeah. He's another one. fun one. The, mm -hmm. We were at a show last weekend before everything went to shit. Yeah. Um, he came with uh, Jason Page and Eli, mm -hmm. and um, uh, when he was just watching the show after my match, we kind of chit chat it. Yeah. Um, and I just got to pick his brain a little bit, and it was nice. It was uh, very fun. I haven't been able to uh, mm -hmm. see anyone pick their brain for a while, so yeah. it was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's a cool dude definitely down you know he'll talk to you <laughs> oh yeah yeah like he's super humble yeah i like how they have their gimmicks they have their gimmicks you know <laughs> it's great oh yeah for sure mm. but yeah oh. man shit these days wrestling is all it's all about hybrid and stuff too you know it's all hybrid and you know the, the, vers yeah, uh, you could be vers the versatile you know yes i like uh, that's what i love about wrestling uh mm -hmm. there's something for everybody yeah you want goofy, you want serious, you want blood, you want... You uh, want intergender, you got it. Prowess. You, exactly. can... you want a man beat up a woman? Yes. <laughs> Wrestling. <laughs> Wrestling. I mean, I saw a great... I mean, a couple weeks back, we had a... The, uh, geez, it was fun. So much fun. I never, I've never been to like an event like that, like, ever in my life. Like, uh, it, and uh, I got to see, like... Kyle uh, Ray Lynn versus, like... Yeah. You know? And uh, Zoe Sky. Like, yeah, these... Or Max the Impaler, like holy shit, this Max like, is awesome. She's a beast, yeah, yeah, like domination, yeah, she, right, like yeah, but not to see these people like in in a different form, you know, and a and a queen Naya Amada Amada or whatever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Mina Mina Mina. Yeah, but I, I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just to, yeah, she's really, uh, really pretty good. Last time I saw her, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, but yeah, they, you know, the characters come out, and you tell who's different, you know, and just the way that they present themselves, you know, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. I mean, Kylie, like, you look, I mean, uh, Ray Lynn and, or Zoe Sky, you know, I mean, their backgrounds with Japan wrestling and stuff, I really didn't know that, you know, like, they wrestled in Japan a lot, which is awesome, you know. Right. <sighs> but, yeah. There are a lot of wrestling at different places. It is. It is. It's so versatile, like, like or intergender or whatever. It, it's everything. Everything's so, you know, it's just crazy now. I mean. Oh, yeah. If you don't, if you don't like hardcore, guess what? There's yeah. this. Oh, if you don't like this, there's that. Yeah. It's like, have you seen a cage match yet? No. Here's this. <laughs> you know? Well, here you go. Yeah. Like, like AEW started, their, they started their first cage match. You know? Well, actually, no, wait. Didn't they do another one? I think they did, yes, at Blood and Guts, there was one. Ooh, I have to watch that pay-per-view. I still want to watch that. I still got to watch that. AEW. Oh, no, no, it was just last night. Or, it was supposed to be in Newark. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> that was the one that was supposed to be canceled. You know, they canceled. I enjoyed watching it. Uh, mm -hmm. I watched a couple of the highlights. Mm -hmm. It was it was a nice little put together show. Yeah, absolutely. But now, yeah, everything's all audiences. <laughs> no audience. You know, it's weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Working with the times. It's so different. That, uh, but it's it's a different style we get to see of wrestling now, you know? Really. Oh, yeah. It's it's cool because uh, mm -hmm. people that don't go and watch indie wrestling mm -hmm. don't realize a no-crowd show can happen yeah. <laughs> like, often. Yeah. Um, so it's cool seeing them getting used to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, these big guys are doing it. Come out to your local show. We do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we're not doing it all the time because it's no, no. Thankfully, not... like yeah, man, yeah. there's uh, there's been times though where it's just like yeah, oh, okay, this is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm gonna am I gonna get a booking this week? Hold on, no, sorry, we I have this Corona stuff going. <laughs> right? God, yeah, I, I know. Like three shows. Yeah. Um, cancel like all on me at once. Mm. <laughs> It's like then, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping next month. Oh, it's, it's gonna canceled. yeah. It's gonna boom back up. Watch it'll it'll come back. Oh, I hope so. Because <laughs> we need our wrestling fix. You know, you need to get back in the ring. You know, it's an addiction, man. You know, you <laughs> it's our it's our addiction. You know, <laughs> what can I say? Oh, for sure. It's yeah. a it's a hell of an adrenaline rush. It is. It is. And you got your family that supports you. You got your friends that support you. Oh, you thankfully, your... like my kids want to do this shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's nuts. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, I have a very supportive wife. That that's uh, so yeah. much easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be blessed with that, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, there's so many women that don't support it. And no, sucks. yeah, yeah. I can see it in a lot of people's, you know, wrestler wise, and <laughs> it's they go for the rough times, man. A lot of my friends go through rough times, you know. Oh yeah, and, it, it's bound to happen. Mm -hmm. But man, this was so awesome having you on tonight. Oh yeah, man! This is awesome. Let's let's set up another one. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, Facebook Live is uh, new. My new hop. I'm gonna get tweaked. So <laughs> sweet. I'd like to have you come back. How's that? Sweet. Yeah. Let me know. And then I'd like to actually. Ooh, I'd like to schedule with my friend Everett Lee. He does another. Po he's a podcast. Oh yeah, I've listened to some of his stuff actually. He, yeah, he's a good. I'd like to. I'll schedule. I'll try to tell him that you would like to get a hold of him. Do a podcast. Sweet. Because he's, yeah, that'd be a fun he's, one. he's, and then I'm going to try to get on Solomon's. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's hit it. Yeah, damn it. Get on. Say, I was just on talking Russell's. With, you better get. Talking with. Be yeah, be like, yeah, that's, that's a fun dude to talk to. Yeah, you'd be like, damn it. I was just on the Deathmatch Russell podcast. Now we're, I need to get back on you. No, we, I need to be on your podcast. <laughs> right? He's been putting you over a lot. He has. He has. Man, yeah. He, Loyal he, dude. Yeah. But, man. It was, yeah, this was fun, man. Yeah, thank you for so much for coming on. We have so much fun, and and he, like I said, yeah, we'll set something up for the next time, and I'll I'll hook you up with that guy, for sure. You know, and where can fans find you on Facebook at Jaden and go see him at shows and this and that, right? That's it. Yeah, go see <laughs> go see him at EHF or uh, GLW and other. Oh yeah, and wherever else I might show up. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming on tonight, and have a good night, man. Thanks, you too. Yep. Bye bye. Wow, fans, you know what? That was a fun podcast tonight. You know, don't worry about this virus, corona stuff, you know. Let's, uh, you know, like, always support indie re professional wrestling, indie wrestling, deathmatch wrestling, hardcore wrestling. It all binds together, you know. At a time like this in the need, you know, these guys are striving. They're, they want to get back into the ring and wrestle because, you know what, this virus is just a curse, and it's not the end of the world as we know it just yet. But, you know, it's 2020, and you know what? Wrestling needs to come back again, and it will be back, fans. So, you know what? Catch Jaden quick at another show at EHF or GWL. G -jub, blah, blah, blah. Hold on. At GLWA Wrestling. And say hello to him. Go watch him wrestle. He's an up, you know. He's he's made his name known in the in the ring at eight EHF and other places as well. He's faced, you know, a death match wrestler that you know we all support when supported when he had his time. His name is Adam Bueller. So big shout out to Adam. How you doing, buddy? Um, and uh, you know what? He loves wrestling just like everybody. Everybody. 
everybody else does. Fans, I want to say thank you for listening to the Deathmatch Russell podcast. Have a great night. And I'm going to get back to watching, uh, actually, uh, they're doing a show right now at, in Game Changer Wrestling, as I was just saying, GCW's Acid Cup. And uh, they're doing that right now on the IG, IWTV. So log on, fans, get yourself a subscription for ten ninety nine. You can uh, watch the latest independent wrestling and much, much more. Follow Game Changer Wrestling because they're struggling too, along with the rest of the rest with the rest of the companies that are out there trying to get by. And uh, it's not easy to try to get wrestling at a show or a town near you. I mean, and also fans. While I'm talking about IG IWTV, you know what? At 10 p.m. tonight, check it out. The Hardcore Hustle, H2O, Hardcore Kingdom 4 will be replaying at 10 p.m. And whatever time zone you're in, check it out. Order it. Watch it. Watch some wrestling. Support indie wrestling because that's what we like to do. As always, catch AEW Wrestling every Tuesday, every Wednesday night. And, you know, for WWE struggling, you know, as well. And... They're doing all these live shows with no attend, with no wrestler, with no audience, and you know it's something else. And don't forget the Saturday night, CZW will be doing a very special IG. They will be also on Fight TV this week as well for their upcoming show. So fans, please support indie wrestling wherever you go. Have a good night. Signing off, and it's the weekend of here is here. Tune in to the Deathmatch Russell podcast again. Good night, everyone. Hey, hey, wrestling fans. I want to mention Collar and Elbow. Collar and Elbow was founded on traditional values of professional wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product intended to connect with people on a, an emotional level. A symbiotic relationship where one cannot flourish without the other. We strive to create a product that embodies our passion for professional wrestling expressed through street fashion. Visit CollarAndElbowBrand.com and use the promo code DeathmatchRussellPodcast and save 10% off when you make a purchase. Collar and Elbow where wrestling passion meets street fashion. And good evening once again, fan. You, you can find more Deathmatch Russell podcasts on the following social media. DeathmatchRussell.com. Follow on Twitter at DavidNJ32. And on Facebook. Facebook.com slash DJDaveNJ32. Find me on Podcast City Network at PodcastCity.net. Facebook.com slash Podcast City Network. Hit the like button and share. And on Twitter at PodcastCityNet. You can hear Deathmatch Russell podcast on Stitcher Radio and on iTunes.